When you have one or two social media accounts, it's easy to manage them. When you're dealing with dozens and dozens of accounts, you need software to help with the process. In this video, I'm going to take you through a tool that helps us manage our social media accounts and the accounts of our clients. And that tool, well, that's called SocialPilot. There are some great features in SocialPilot that we use. It helps us with our social media scheduling. We can put together a social media calendar. We can use it for bulk scheduling. That's where you take a, an Excel spreadsheet and load it up and schedule many things simultaneously. You can do content curation where it does a search and finds other content that we can use and share. One of the key features that we love about it is RSS feed automation. If you're a blogger and you have an RSS feed for that, SocialPilot can consume that feed and post from it. And it has some great external tools like browser extension and iOS and Android apps. I'm going to take you through some of the key features that we do today, starting with how you set up the accounts. In SocialPilot, you need to have accounts before you can post, and getting access to those accounts can sometimes be challenging. For example, you might send an email to a client, hey, I need you to log in and password to your Facebook account or your LinkedIn account. Crickets. You never hear back from them. So how can you get that done a little bit faster? Well, one of the things you can do in SocialPilot is you can ask them for their credentials. So how do we do that? Well, in SocialPilot on the left side, we can go to team and client. I'll talk more about team members later, but right now I'm going to talk about clients. I can invite a client into SocialPilot, and that client can do various things. But first thing we want to do is from that client, we want to obtain their credentials. I'll put our company name in there, and I'm going to put our logo. And this will make it so that anything I send to them is branded. Now I'm going to invite myself, and there are two different roles. One role is a manager, and the other is a content scheduler. A content scheduler can create new content in SocialPilot, but they cannot approve it to be distributed. A manager can approve content to be shared and distributed and scheduled. If I want to add a client, and I want that client to be able to approve things, I'm going to make them a manager. So I'm going to send a message to my client to set up this account and to create or to connect their social media accounts. And you may notice I, I left off boost posts. Boost posts are essentially paying to promote a post in certain social platforms. And while this can be useful, giving that to an external party runs the risk of them boosting something that maybe they shouldn't boost, which has financial implications. So I tend to leave that turned off when I'm sharing with somebody else. Only a manager in our internal organization has the ability to boost a post on behalf of a client. Then I select the type of accounts that I want this client to connect. Sure, I can choose everything, but I want to make their job easy. I want to make it easy on them to connect the accounts. So I'm going to choose just those that I need, and I'll create an invitation. So I've created this invitation, and I'm going to copy the invitation so I have it. Now, depending on how your organization works, you may want to track things like this. For example, in our organization, we use a tool called Asana for project management. And in fact, if you want to learn more about that, there's a link in the show notes on how you can learn more about Asana. And in Asana, I'm going to want to make sure that I follow up with this client to get them to get their credentials. So I create this task in Asana, use this link to connect the social media accounts for your project, and I include the link in there. And I assign it to myself. This way I can follow up and make sure it gets done. But something else can happen. In our system, when we use a tag called the client owes us, that client will automatically get an email reminding them to do this. And these texts that I put in here will be there. So I have a double hit. The client is going to get the invitation from Social Pilot, but they're also going to get a reminder from us. And that, that ensures that this gets done. So let's move forward. Let's get, make, get this registered. Now that I have that link, I create a manual email that I send to the client asking them to connect the account. I'm not trusting the, the automated part of this. I want to make sure that that client knows that they need to connect and connect to these accounts and they know exactly how to do it. So I send a manual email, I do a client owes us task in our Asana system, and I've set it up in SocialPilot. So hopefully we'll get it connected because that is the number one thing that tends to take time, at least when, in our organization. So when we go to that link, the client is going to see something like this. It's going to want them to sign up to create an account and, and then log in. All right, so I'm creating a new account and signing up. And the client will get an opp opportunity to learn more about it. For this video, I'm going to skip it. 
And now I'm logged in as the client. It's welcoming to Content First Marketing. This is branded. And I'm, the I'm being asked as the client to connect my account. And you can see the accounts that I chose are what's set up here. The first thing I chose is to connect my Instagram account and it's prompting me to use Facebook to connect. And you can see here it's trying to create a trust relationship. And it's going to tell the client, hey, this is trying to connect on behalf of SocialPilot. Again, creating the relationship between SocialPilot and the client's account. This is so much easier than having to log in as the client and having to have two-factor authentication and all the things that go into it. And it will show me the pages that I control. Because I chose Instagram business, it's showing the Instagram business pages that I control. And I'll pick some of those. And then just click connect account. So I set up an Instagram business account. Now the client can continue to connect another account. And you go on and on and you connect the accounts as necessary. And the client has a, a limited view where they can just see the accounts that they have and they can see the posts and they can see all the things that are associated with them, but they can't see everything else. So what I'm going to do is log out and log back in as an administrative account that manages everything. Great. So let's talk about a little bit of planning. Social Pilot makes it really easy to schedule posts and we'll walk through that in a little bit. But the first thing you have to do is, is plan that out. Now everyone uses different tools. Some people use Word documents, others use spreadsheets. Uh, we use a tool in Microsoft Teams that we created that allows us to create the, the general purpose social media posting schedule. And what this does is it determines based on day of the week what the social media strategy is. And there are some common strategies that are used. Motivation Mondays, Industry Trends Tuesdays, About Your Business Wednesdays, of course you've heard of Throwback Thursdays. You might schedule in there a, a Facebook Live day or a company news and testimonials on Fridays. Those are a variety of strategies and what we do at the very beginning is ensure that we've planned a strategy for each day of the week. That way we know what type of posts we want to create for that day. And once that's done in our system we can actually use Social Pilot to schedule things. Now in Social Pilot we can cr simply create a post which we're about to do but it also has some other capabilities. For example bulk scheduling where we use a spreadsheet to upload it and we can do a content calendar where based on the strategy that we defined we can add into a calendar things we want to do or if we already have things scheduled into the future the content calendar allows us to see that. That makes it very helpful to know what we've planned out in a visual way that's really easy to see. For now I'm going to go and I'm going to create a post. At the heart of all of this is creating posts and we can create posts directly in Social Pilot. We can create posts using the Chrome plugin and we can create posts using the iOS app which I'll talk a little bit more about later. For now we're going to create them directly here. So we start with a general draft what we're doing. Uh, maybe I put a little comment in there. The next thing I want to do is I can add some graphics to it. I can add some emojis to it. Maybe I'll add an emoji. And there's one feature that works really well and that is direct integration with Canva. So you see the Canva. I can click on the Canva icon and launch it. Now in our company we use a company Canva account. But this will allow us to also use a general account. So what I would do is connect as the company Canva account and work off of that. Now this includes a bunch of templates. These are social media templates. And you can see these are Facebook templates. And maybe I'll choose one of these graphics. And as you can see, since this is in Canva, I can edit it. I can do whatever I want with it. Now that would be for another video if you want to learn more about how to use Canva. But this is directly integrated. So I can completely edit the image the way I want to in Canva and then have this ready to go into Social Pilot. And for the sake of this, I'm finished and I'll just publish it. And what it did by clicking the Canva integration, it allowed me to create a graphic and then it saved it to one of the photos for this post. So now I, I, I did a post here, I include a graphic and I include all sorts of things. I include images, I can include videos, I can include anything that I want. But right now I'm just including a single image. And I'm going to post this to my social account. Now maybe I'll choose to put this on LinkedIn. So I've connected to LinkedIn by clicking on the right and you can do multiple accounts simultaneously. And so what I can do is in the top here I can look at the draft and look at what is this going to be like and I click on LinkedIn and I can see this is the post for LinkedIn and it's ready to go. 
So on the right side, I can do a couple of things. I can share it immediately. I can schedule it or I can schedule a repeat schedule. I'm going to schedule this post into the future. So I'll have this happen sometime today. Let's make this happen at 11, at 1045 this morning. And we're done. That's all it takes. Now I mentioned earlier that that has a bulk scheduling capability. This is an individual post that we did. However, bulk scheduling allows us to do many at a time. And it's a really great feature. What you do is you download a sample CSV file and then you open that in Excel. And there are four columns that you'll fill out. Column one, you put what the description is of the post. You put the content of the post in there, the text. In column two, you have a URL of the image. So what you're going to want to do for the image is have it on a website so that you can get to the URL very easily. Most commonly would be as if you were using WordPress, this would be in the media library. And just grab the URL for it. Then you put in the third column the date and time when you want the post to occur. And finally, if you have it, you put the account number from Socialpilot in the fourth column so it knows which accounts to post to. And this method allows you to have up to 500 posts in a single spreadsheet that you upload and schedule in one effort. It's a very useful way to get a, quite a bit done in, very quickly. And now I can see that this is scheduled out for today. One of the things that are very useful is, is the concept of repeating posts. So when we post on social media, in some cases we only post an item once. But there are other situations where you want to post the same thing at different, on different days at different times a day. And that's a repeated post. Well, sure, you can do that manually, but there is a much easier way to do that. You can do repeated posts directly in Socialpilot. So what I want to do is I open a post, and then I include the channels where I want to share it. And in the down arrow, instead of sharing now, I can say repeat post. And it'll ask me how many times you want to repeat it. Well, so for maybe for this one, I want to repeat it two times in five days. And I preview it, and it's going to give me some options here. I now said I said I want to do it two times, so it's going to give me some options from when to post it. So maybe the first one I post this morning, and maybe the next one I post maybe a week out, and maybe I pick some slightly different time of day. I can have this as many times as I want. I could have 10 different repeats, and I schedule them all out. Clicking schedule, I have now scheduled two posts into the future by, by choosing to reshare and then repeat that post. So I'm ready to go. And then it will show up as a queued post into the future. And you can see down here, these are queued into the future. Now one of the things that's really helpful is there is a Chrome extension that we can use. And that Chrome extension allows us to easily share things. So I went to a video on our website that we have out there. And maybe I want to, maybe I want to do a post about this. So all I have to do is go to the page and then click on the Chrome extension. It's going to launch Social Pilot. And what it's going to do is it's going to paste the link to where I was. So all I had to do is go to a web page and boom, it's here. And you can see it's pulled everything in for me. So I've got this ready to go in Social Pilot. I got a preview. And maybe I'm going to want to put this um, and look at the LinkedIn preview. You can see what it looks like. So it's all ready to go. So then all I have to do is choose my accounts and then post it. So I click the down arrow and I click Add Accounts and I pick the accounts I want to send to. And I'm picking a Facebook account for our company, Content First Marketing. I'm going to use my personal LinkedIn account. And you can see they show up at the top. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule this post. Sure, I could share it now, but I like to schedule things. And all I did was go to a web page and click on the Chrome extension for Socialpilot, and it did it. Now if I go back into Socialpilot, and then I look at the posts, and then look at what's scheduled in the queued post section, I can see that I have a queued post. You can see here. These are now queued up. And one is going to LinkedIn and the other is going to Facebook. One of the common things you get asked is, is this working? And, you know, with social media, you don't always know if it's working. There, there are vanity metrics, right, like followers. But engagement can sometimes be elusive. With Socialpilot, the analytics allows us to have metrics associated with engagement to really tell a story to our clients on whether or not what we're doing is working. 
So what I did in this case is I just choose our Facebook account and I click the analyze button and then I can, I can see a story, what's going on for the last seven days. Not a lot. We weren't really doing quite much here on our own account for Facebook. We do most of our work in LinkedIn. But it still tells a story and it helps us understand what's going on. So I can do this for any of the connected accounts. And this really helps us understand what's working and what's not working and areas where we can improve things. In this case, I can pull up an Instagram account. I can see, well, the reach is 1.6K, 2.2K impressions. And it gives me opportunities for improvement as well so that I can measure period over period to see if our reach and impressions are improving in our social media activities. Now, we showed how to do posts, and that's the most common way to use the tool. But Social Pilot also has a way to use curated content. And while this isn't for everyone, it is a useful feature. So if I go to content and feed, I can go to curated content. And what this does is it allows me to do a search on a topic or a keyword and find content that's out there that I might want to share. And maybe I was doing a search on social media marketing and I scrolled through here and I looked and see if there's anything interesting that I might want to share. Maybe I'm interested in this, this clickbait, 30 crazy social media facts marketers need to know. All I have to do to, go, to see it is, is click on the link and I can go read it. And from here I determine, is this something I want to share? Maybe I'm just I'm out of things and I just need to get something shared. So what, what would I do? Well, maybe I take this and I go and I connect to a, a LinkedIn account or something like that and I share it. For fun, I'm going to take my John LinkedIn account and then I am going to schedule this post to go out in a little bit. So here I use curated content. Now there's another feature that is one of the main reasons we chose Social Pilot, and that is the ability to consume RSS feeds. So we can use past feeds as a source to set up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the feed content right now, and I'll take you to content and feed and show you. So we can click add feed, and what this will allow us to do is it'll allow us to add an RSS feed. Well, how do you do that? Well, most websites that have a content strategy, a blog strategy, has some form of RSS feed. In our own website, we actually have three different feeds. The primary feed is just called feed, and it's just XML code, and it's, it's code that can be consumed and repurposed. So if I take that URL for our RSS feed, I can put that in Social Pilot as the URL of the feed. And then I can give it a frequency. So maybe every 24 hours, I'm going to want Social Pilot to wake up, look at that feed, and if there's something new that has been added within the 24 hours, I'm going to want it to post. And in this case, I'm just going to post one. I will have it as an image post type because in our feed, we use images. And I can add some existing hashtags that I might want to use. So this is a feed. And when I save this, Social Pilot will then consume it periodically. So how do I use that feed? Well, I can manage that feed by going to Manage Feeds, and I can see all the different feeds we have. And I can see our, it's going back to Content First Marketing, the feed we just talked about. It's scheduled, set up to post to three different social accounts for our company, and it wakes up every 24 hours. And this is a great tool to automatically publish based on the cadence of blogging that happens on our site. And it's also available in the curated content. So when I go to curated content, I can go to feed content. And what that's going to do is look at all the different feeds that I have connected to Social Pilot and show recent activity. Because maybe I want to share some of these again. For example, how to enhance your SEO strategy. Maybe what I want to do is go to my LinkedIn and then I'm going to share this and I'm going to schedule it schedule it out. Maybe I want this to happen at 11.45 today and schedule it. So all I did was I took a piece of content that Social Pilot discovered in an RSS feed and then scheduled that using the tool that allows us to pull back curated content from a feed. So I often get questions about how is the support? and many different tools have many different levels of support. Social Pilot's support is, is good. There are some tools that are great. 
Social Pilots at this stage when I'm making this video is good. Here's how you get support. What you're going to want to do is you can either use the chat to get instant answers where you type something in and it essentially pulls something back or you're going to want to create a direct question in the chat during business hours. That's one option. The second one, if, if you really have some details to get into is I just use the bottom left corner to schedule a call. And then you pick the date and time you want to have that call. So maybe I want to have a call on Monday. Maybe I want to have that call, I don't know, at 2.30 p.m. And confirm it. I'll put, it'll have all my contact information. And then boom, I got a call scheduled. This makes it so that you can get the support you need really easy. Now I mentioned they have an app. And so what, I, what you can do is you can go to the App Store. Uh, I use iOS devices, but it works on Android as well. And you can, on your iPad or on your iPhone or Android device, download the app and install it. What I have shared with you is the iPad version on my computer, on my M1 Mac, emulating an iPad. And as you can see, it's the same tool. But they have a really nice piece in here. It's called the Visual Composer. The Visual Composer allows you to really easily put together posts right then and there on your phone or iPad. Now, imagine you're out and about and you're on your phone, you need to get a post out real quickly. Open the Social Pilot app and then create that post using the Visual Composer. And this will make it so much easier on you. And it has stock images that you can use. You can grab those. And then you can put your own copy on there. You can change your text style. You can do all the things you'd expect to do in a tool like this. Now, of course, you can create your post right then and there much like I showed you earlier. Uh, in this case, maybe I'll just save it as a draft. So I used my device to kind of build a post and then that post is ready to go and then it's sitting as a draft. And when I get back to my desktop, I have the draft that I created and then I can continue editing it from the desk. So it's a nice workflow where you can get things started on your phone or your tablet and then finish it and publish it directly from your desktop or if you choose to do everything from that device. And the last feature I'll share with you is Zapier integration. Social Pilot has a Zap endpoint. What does that mean? What it means is anytime something is published in Social Pilot, another activity could occur. For example, you could have it so that you post something in Social Pilot and then it automatically pushes it into Buffer. In our situation, when something posts into Social Pilot, we actually record that that occurred in another system so that we can see that later, that what came out of Social Pilot happened. So that's a really useful feature. Overall, Social Pilot is a really useful tool. It does what you'd expect in a social media scheduling tool in a very easy to use manner. And something I didn't message, it's also, it's also a very cost effective tool. Now, a lot of tools out there. And if you use a different tool, I'd like to hear about it. Put in the comments below if you have uh, questions or other topics that you want to know about, put those in the comments as well. I'll, I'll respond to as many as I can. Appreciate your time today and I look forward to talking to you on the next video.